Hi, I want to share with you something that happened with me on Saturday. Last Saturday, as I was contemplating praying over what I should be teaching on this coming Sunday, I got a distinct impression that I really believe this is the leading of the Holy Spirit. And that impression was, move forward, move ahead. See, my mentality at that time was, I was thinking about, you know, what should I speak to in the, to this current situation and all the different changes and so forth. And I think God was telling me to stop thinking that this is not normal. This is the new normal. Move forward, move ahead into it. So I sat there thinking more about that and thinking, well, yeah, uh, our schools are adjusting and mo moving ahead in this new normal. Businesses that are open are adjusting and moving ahead in this new normal. So why shouldn't we? So what I want to say to you this, uh, this time is that it would draw in on how our new situation is more difficult and, and different from what it was in the past. We're looking backwards. And if we're looking backwards, then we're not looking forward. But God wants us to not only look forward, but move into this uh, future and realize that this is the new normal. And this crisis will end, and then there'll be another new normal. And what he wants us to do is not only be prepared for it, but to thrive in it. And the cool thing is that we look in the past, God has been preparing us for this current new normal, and we didn't even realize it. Way back in 2016, we as a church started saying that Christian parents are the primary disciplers of their children. And that's because we as a church or any church may have one, maybe two hours a week with your children, but parents have up to a hundred hours of waking hours with their children. That's 100 to 50 times more than what church has. That's a hundred hours that parents could have to love them, to teach them, to train them up to love the Lord and to help them to grow up to love the Lord and follow Him on their own as adults. Us, and then in 2018, God walloped us about complacency, about complacency with our walk with Him and with our uh, fellowship with each other. So in 2019, He led us to start working on intentional discipleship as a church, a beginning with personal Bible engagement for every believer. No Christ follower should be dependent on going to church on Sunday to hear a message in order to be fed. No, God wants all of us to be, be able to open the Word of God, uh, led by the Holy Spirit, to read it, to understand it, and apply it, and be transformed and fed by it. Now, Sunday sermons, Bible teaching, um, fellowship, online stuff, the teaching of others is great stuff. But they're meant to supplement, not substitute, for our own time with God in His Word and let Him speak to us directly. And our thought went back and us, you know, we should be like Christians and persecuted countries who grow, who thrive, who tend to, to be faithful, even though they can't go to church on Sundays like we do. Then guess what? The coronavirus hits us and we can't go to church on Sundays. You know, it's as if God knew this was going to happen and he was preparing us for it. Imagine that. Isn't that cool? And it also means that God in the past has been preparing us for this present new reality that right now he is also preparing us for whatever future reality and normality it's, that's going to happen. So, I really encourage you today, uh, reminding you that our God is faithful. So let's be faithful to Him. And one of the most important ways we can is by being faithful in reading, engaging, applying, listening to God through His Word. And, uh, you know, worship music, listening to worship music is great. Uh, listening to other messages and, and teaching is great. Prayer is great. Fellowship is great. But what will really sustain us is the Word of God speaking to us. 
I want to read for you as I close here uh, one passage from our reading this week, and it's Hebrews 4.12. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The word of God is powerful. And I really encourage you this week to keep on in that reading of um, our passages. That's Hebrews 4 through 8 this week. And not only read it, but highlight a section that God is using to really uh, speak to you. It could be a verse, it could be a word, it could be a whole paragraph, whatever. Explain to yourself so you make sure you understand. Apply it to yourself and then respond with whether it's obedience or praise or thanksgiving, but respond back to God as he speaks to you. Well, I look forward again to uh, being with you online this Sunday. God bless you.